All right. Let's do the competition. So, cancel out of your existing games. Run Python bin hunt pi with a three at the end. Enter two so that you're doing class mode. And await the seed. When does the timing start when you hit return after the The time seed? starts after the seed starts. I tried to make sure I put it in the right spot. So that 1337 is your seed. Yeah, yeah I think there's an off by one error in the counting up of the number of flags that are set right now. So I've got two people showing. So if it asks you, you know, how many flags are set up here? Three, right? But I think it says two. So like somewhere I'm missing in the game incorporation. So oh, okay. if it asks you how many flags are set, do a minus one. <laughs> I will okay. fix that and I've got it updated. And then we got to copy over things. I think it's just an off by one error. So some people may have stumbled where it asked like a virtual address and you maybe put in an RVA. But it, if it's saying like what is the VA, it's saying take whatever RVA you would have calculated and add the base address which you pull out of the optional end. Yeah, expected right? value. So I think I need to kind of draw a picture for this because <laughs> it is kind of ambiguous. So uh, a little bit of work. So what size of image is trying to tell you is that like there's, well in this case it would be all of this. Size of image is trying to tell you like in memory. Alright, so size of image back in the optional headers is trying to tell you this takes up all this space in memory. And when I'm asking, you know, is the size of image correct or what should the size of image be, what I'm basically saying is that, you know, within, oops, in color, within a given uh, file, it's got some number of sections. And the sections are really what determine what gets mapped from file into memory. You see a similar thing in ALF files later. So we've got our data, and then let's say this is without reload or something like that. And you see that I randomized the names and stuff like that. Right? And each of these, has some RVA associated with it, this, this virtual address, and then it's got some size. And then this has an RVA, and then it has a size. And then this has an RVA, and then it has a size. And so what I'm really just trying to say with these questions about, you know, is the size of image correct? So I'm saying, when you look at, you know, where these sections get placed in memory and how much space they take up, when you go down, and, and this is a point that sort of uh, that Dave made, you know, these things don't necessarily take up all the space, right? So this thing could have, you know, an RVA of hex 3000, for instance, but then the size of image could be equal to like hex 200, and then this guy could have an RVA of 4000, and then it could have a total size of hex 100 or something like that, right? So what that would really more accurately look like is that you would have this size of 200 being like this much space, and then this would all be just sort of like a gap of space that, you know, there's nothing mapped in from file right here, so it's uninitialized memory, basically. So, I mean, you'll see this with basically all of them. Very few sections are going to take up exactly, you know, hex 1000 worth of space, whereas you'll see that most commonly these sections themselves will be aligned on that section alignment of hex 1000, right? Way back in the optional header. We talked about the section alignment and we said most, most of the time that means basically that these things will be mapped into memory at hex 1000 aligned addresses. So again, size of image should basically be, you know, take all of your sections and, you know, if you just add them up, the thing is you're not accounting for the fact that, you know, continuously for doing all of this memory, there's going to be these, these gaps in there. And so the simple way to do it is basically you just go to the last thing and you recognize that, look, there are going to be, you know, spaces in here with uninitialized padding in memory between these sections. 
and you just go to the last one and you add this plus that and you say that's my total size. And so it's it's kind of you know arguable and things like that. You know, Dave was saying, well, the size really is this because this is the stuff that's actually used, right? It never actually touches this gap between there. No code in the program should be touching that gap in there. So you can say, well, is it using this memory or is it using all of this memory? It's definitely ambiguous, but for purposes of this game, it's using all of this memory because the OS loader has to actually allocate all of that memory. Even though there's these gaps and paddings and things like that, nobody else can use it. It's still just the OS is allocating chunks of hex 1000 at a time because that's the smallest unit it can deal with. So uh, it's using all of this memory totally. So, any other questions about this? That makes sense to everybody? <laughs>